Growing up, her parents thought she would grow out of her love of rodents and vermin. <laughs> this thing's hilarious already. Okay guys, so if you've been watching, you know that recently we went to the grand opening of the Spirit Halloween flagship store in Egg Harbor Township. It was an awesome time. If you haven't seen that video, backtrack on my videos a little bit. It's posted, it's live, go check it out. Meanwhile, today I got an email while I was driving down the highway from Spirit Halloween letting me know that there is two new animatronics out today and one of them is called a Rat Girl animatronic. Okay, so we're gonna look at that real quick here. Six foot Rat Girl animatronic. I like it already just because of the name. Let's read a little bit of this description. Growing up, her parents thought she would grow out of her love of rodents and vermin. <laughs> this thing's hilarious already. But unfortunately, all the therapy, shock treatments, and fancy boarding schools couldn't change her obsession. Now she might still be a little girl, but she's capable of truly evil acts because of the rodents and vermin. <laughs> Do you know what the worst part is? Rat Girl thinks she's just an innocent child having good, clean fun. This may be the best description I have read yet. From a distance, you might see a sweet girl hanging out on a swing. But if you get too close, beware, because you'll be the next meal for her horde of hungry rats. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and look at this thing. I mean, just looking at her, all she is is a little crouching girl on a swing. I see she's holding a rat. There's a rat crawling up whatever that thing is beside her. Um, she's definitely like dirty. It looks like she got some dirty eyes and her face and her feet and toes are dirty. Um, let's go down and look at some more. That, that looks too funny. Look at that creepy little smile on her face. Here's a close up of the creepy little smile. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely love this thing. That is so crazy. I love how she looks. All right, here's a front view. And let's see, another side view here. Another side view. I love how she's crouched on that swing. There's the back. And then there's the, uh, the comparison where she's um, compared to the size of a six foot man standing beside her. Okay. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Um, I can't wait to see what she does. Now, honestly, I mean, any prop that they ever put out that is a character on a swing, all it does is sort of swing. Um, maybe have some, some phrases. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to really expect. I don't expect her to jump. I don't expect her to do much more than swing and maybe talk about her rats or maybe you'll hear some rat sounds or something, but let's go ahead and do it here. I am so curious. Six foot rat girl animatronic. Three blind mice, three blind mice. Her eyes are See moving. See how they run. Not fast enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's funny like that I didn't hear any sounds of rats. Um, she's just singing Three Blind Mice, which is perfect. I love how her eyes are moving back and forth. I didn't expect anything more than just swinging, but that's awesome. And it looks like down towards the end, she might even start to kind of shake a little bit, but I'm just not positive of that. So. I hope I get to see her in stores this year at some time. 
somebody told me um, that the item number describes whether or not you're going to see these things in stores. This one starts with a zero, and that might be one um, that means that it's online only. Does it say, oh yeah, it even says online only right in front of my face. So she's online only, but I hope somehow she makes it into a store. Um, I don't know how much she is. It doesn't even give a price right now. I would guess she's probably gonna be about 159. That that would be my guess for a prop like this. She's just a swinging prop. Um, and I don't know, the measurements looks like they're including like the, the ropes and everything when they're saying she's six feet. So she's probably only about three feet on the actual swing. And then the ropes add the other uh, three feet. So anyways, that's just a quick look here at the six foot rat girl animatronic. She is too funny. I love her so much. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. I think she's a great prop. So, all right, let's move on to the next one. And that is the three foot spike animatronic. I don't expect a whole lot out of this guy. It looks like it's just a hanging prop with a giant wooden spike in his forehead. Uh, looks like his eyes light up. Let's read a little bit of his description here. Spike never had good luck. When the zombie apocalypse came, he couldn't end up like an average brain-hungry zombie roaming the Pacific Coast Highway for brains. Man, some of these descriptions are a tongue twister. Instead, he managed to fight off a horde of zombies converging in his backyard, only to end up getting bitten by an undead version of a man's best friend, which would be a dog. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at the pictures. And as I said, it's just like a torso hanging, it looks like. Um, big wooden spike in his head. He looks like a zombie. He's got the big gaping zombie mouth, plaid shirt, eyes light up. Um, yeah, you can see in this one more of how he's just a hanging torso, basically. Looks like he's missing a hand, too. So man's best friend must have got hungry. Uh, let's see, there's a side view. And another side view. Are we going to get a close-up of his face here? A couple more side views. No, it doesn't look like we're going to get a really good close-up of his face. There's the back. And there's the comparison. Um... I don't know, he's not the best looking face I've ever seen, but he is kind of funny. I do like how it's a big wooden spike in his forehead. Let's go ahead and watch the video here. Curious to what he does. I don't expect him to do much. Probably just like convulse, shake around and, and make zombie sounds. Here we go. Three foot spike animatronic. Yeah. He snorts. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot to him. Um, he pretty much did exactly what I expected he was going to do. It's a cool prop, you know, if you had like a bunch of zombies or a haunted house or something that uh, the kids were walking through. It would be a cool prop to have hanging there in addition to everything else. So, all right, guys, there is a look at the two new animatronics that Spirit Halloween emailed me about today. Stay tuned, because if they tell me about more, I'm going to tell you guys about more. Peaces! <laughs>